Hi guys, welcome to InStitch. Four dollars for embodying design? Why not make your own? I'm using InStitch, a completely free digitizing tool. In just 10 minutes, your doodle can turn into a professional embodying flyer and double your profit easily. The best part, even if you are totally new to digitizing, it's super easy to learn. Ready? Let's jump right in. Before we start doodling, let's first pick the right hoop size. We need to make sure the design fits nicely within the stitchable area. Next, let's import our reference image for today. Click End. Then use the ruler tool to quickly measure the design. If the size looks off, go ahead and adjust it right away. To make the stitch out nice easier to see, lower the opacity value under the image. Then, open layers on the right side of the canvas and lock the picture layer. Alright, paperwork's done. Time to divide into digitizing. The first step is always applying the drawing order. Then, picking colors. Click colors. And for this project, I'm using the Richwood embodying thread color chart. I like to pre-mark all the thread colors I will use. It saves a ton of time and helps avoid color mix-ups later. Now, click drawing, select a fear, tatami, and start tracing the outline of the best wings. Once the shape's done, switch to the selection arrow, select the stitches and open Stitch to Edit, Edit AP. You will see a bunch of anchor points appear around the shape. We will move and adjust this to fine-tune the stitcher's shape until it matches the image perfectly. Then, go back to Stitch Edit. Click ST Angle to adjust the stitcher's direction. A good stitch angle makes your fears look clean and polished. Now, open the Primers panel on the right. Find on the layer, turn on Tatami to make sure the stitches stay stable and well covered. Back to the canvas, you will notice the left, middle, and the right bed wings look similar. So, just select the first finished one, hit Copy, and move it over to the right. Then, Use horizontal flip in stitch edit. Of course, copying isn't perfect. So jump back to edit AP for quick angle point adjustment until it fits the shape nicely. Repeat the same for the third wing. I will speed this up three times so you can still follow along. Finally, use ST angle again to align the stitch direction for all wings. And that's it, the bad wings are done. Next up, the letters. Click Test and pick a font that's close to the original design. In the parameter panel, under Test, tap in Y. Now select the letter and adjust its line control points to reshape it until it lines up perfectly with the one in the image. Repeat the same process for the rest of the letters. In Stitch, it's seriously beginner-friendly. It's 100% free and runs right in your browser. If you can doodle, you can digitize and turn your creativity into meaningful in broad gifts. Now, let's work on the ghost body. Click Drawing, switch your brush color to dark gray and trace around the ghost outline. Same idea as the bat. Outline. Edit AP. Take ankle points. Down. Next, let's add the wing textures. Click drawing. Choose outline. Set and stitch. Switch to light green color. And start doodling. Hmm. Looks like it's nice, a bit too thick. No worries. Go to parameter, find the width, and lower the value. Also, to make the stroke ends look sharper, 
set the end value to the minimum. Then open Edit AP again to adjust the angle points. See how the start of the line looks too round? Let's increase the start value so it gets that nice sharp tip. When that's done, make sure under layer is turned off since certain stitches don't need it. Give the line one last tweak. Perfect. Now, select the drawing again to draw the second line. Since all parameters are already set, you just need to adjust the angle points. The rest of the lines follow the exact same process. Simple and easy once you get the hang of it. Finally, let's give your ghost a face. Click drawing, choose fill, tatami. Go to parameter and make sure on the layer is turned off. Good. Switch your brush to black and trace the ghost eyes. Then switch to the selection tool. Select the stitches and use ST angle to fix the direction. Copy one eye, move it over, and fine tune it using Edit AP. Now quickly do the mouse. For the two black knives, go drawing, Alt 9, set and stitch. Once done, open parameter and increase width and value and start value to make the nice look broad and more dynamic. And that's it. We are done with the design. Switch to 3D view, hide the background image, and you will see how clean and detailed this embodiment file looks. The accuracy is spot on. Last step, export your file. Click export on the top right. In Stitch even has a built-in worksheet feature. So you can choose your file format and fill in all your project info. Design name, customer name, and even cost per 1000 stitches. You can also sign your file. Perfect for copyright and client records. Now, let's use InStitch's Wi-Fi transfer feature to send the file straight to the embodiment machine and test out our final stitches result together. Look at those flawless stitches and perfect outlines. That's how our high quality embodiment file is made. With unique designs like this, your Etsy shop can easily boost both value and profit. Want to learn advanced digitizing tips, connect with experts, or download more free commercial designs? Join the InStitch community today. Thanks for watching. Now go turn your creativity into the next best seller. Happy stitching. Bye.